Hello guys, welcome back to the debug arena. In this video, I am going to show you that how we can update our user's detail in MongoDB by creating an API in Node.js. So first, let me take you through my application. This is my React application where I have created this login page and this sign up page. In sign up page, user can sign up as a normal user or as an admin. I have already taught you all these things in my previous video. So if you want to learn all these things then you can go and watch my previous videos so now i will just do login here once i log in successfully you can see i am getting my users detail what i will do here i will add an icon here which will be of edit when user will click on that icon a form will appear and in that form user can update his existing details so let me show you that how we can do this you can see here this is my app.js code where i have done all my routing things this is user home component where I am showing my user's data that is name and email and also a logout button. I am getting user's data from its parent component as a props. You can see this is the parent component where I have called an API from which I am getting a data by using token. So if you are a beginner and you are not getting anything here, so you can go and watch my previous videos to understand it better. So here. I have called this fetch function to get the user's data and I am passing this user's data here and then receiving it here as a props. So the first thing which I have to do is to call this API here like if we are passing a data from this parent component to this child then it will be difficult for us to update it in real time when we will change the data. So first I will call this API there. So let me just copy paste it. Okay, I'm done here. So I have copy pasted this fetch function, removed the code which are not required. Also copied this state user data and I will remove this as a props. Now here I will just console.log the data to show you that what data I'm getting. Yeah, I'm done here. So let's check the output. Okay, I'm getting my data here. Let's see what is in the console. And here we are getting our user's data. And you can see inside the data, I'm getting email, F name, L name, password, user type, and ID. So it is good till now. Now I will add an edit icon here. So for that, I'm going to use the font awesome icon, which I have already installed. So I will just import it here. We will come down and I will write here font awesome icon. And I will pass my icon name which will be far user and plus so it will already import it now i will hit save let's see what we are getting as output okay we are getting an icon now i'm not going to style it because we can do that later now the next step is to create a page which we will navigate when user will click on this edit icon so let's do that for that i will come to my project structure go to my component folder and create a new component name as update user dot js i will quickly add ui here okay i'm done now let's add this update user to our route so i will come here and i will add a new route here let me just copy paste the upper ones okay i will pass here my new route which will be update user and the component which we are using will be update user okay now i will add another route here which will be of my user home because uh, currently i i have not added user home in this because uh, i was navigating through user details.js so i will add that also so i will write here user home and my component will be user home okay we are done here now our next step will be to create a function on click of that icon which will navigate us to this update user page with the data of the user so i will come to user home and i will add on click here and to pass the data i am going to use a react hook name as use navigate so i will create here const navigate and we'll be using use navigate hook okay this is done now 
I will come here inside on click. I will call this and we can write here navigate. My location will be update user. It will be same as the name we have entered in our route and in that I am going to pass data inside the state which will be user data. So let's save this. Now come to update user here we are going to get that data and show it in our console. For that I am going to use another hook name as use location. So I will create a variable name as location is equals to use location okay now i will call your use effect and inside that i will just console.log this location i will just hit save here we can add empty array here let's see the output i will come here i will click on logout i will also clear the console i will try to log in okay login successful and you can see I am getting the data and when I click on this icon I am getting this high and also this is the thing we have consoled that is location and inside this we are getting this hash key you can see a path name and also we are getting the data in our state so it is working fine like we are able to navigate to other screen and also we are getting the data now we just have to create an empty form and show this data there so that user can edit it so let's do that quickly i will come here i will create a new form here okay you can see that i have created the three input box first one is first name second one is last name and the third one is email and also i have kept email as disabled because we are not going to allow user to change its email because in our application email is a unique field so if user will change its email it might contradict with another email so we are not going to allow that let me show you the output so you can see we are getting the three inputs email is disabled now the next step is that we have to show this data that is first name last name data inside this field already pre-populated so let's do that for that i will create a three state okay i have created these three states f name and name and email now what i will do i will come inside use effect and write here set f name and will set f name as location dot state dot f name so you can see that in our browser that our f name is inside this state and this state is inside the location so i am just doing that same thing i will do for l name now i am going to show these three values inside this our input box for that we can use a attribute name as default value and pass it here f name i will just copy this same thing for l name so inside l name i will pass l name and inside email i will pass email Let's see whether it is working fine or not. And you can see that our data has been pre-populated. Also, we are going to cut this data. But if we refresh, this data will be pre-populated. So, it is good till here. Now, the next step is to create a function which will store this data. So, I will come here and I will create a function here name as on change and in on change i will just set f name as e dot target dot value i hope you know all these things otherwise you can watch my previous videos okay i will just do this so this will look good now same thing i will do for l name so I will come here, I will write, I will change f name to l name. And now I will create a function which will be called on this submit button. So on click, I will call update 
data and I will come here and create this function and for now I will just console.log our f name and l name okay we are good till here let's see the output whether it is working fine or not so let me just clear the console now I will change my first name to Adish Thakur and this to 345 and when I click on update details I am getting this Adish Thakur this is my first name and this is my last name it is working fine till here now we are going to make changes in our backend code so that it will accept this data and will add this to MongoDB. So let's go to our backend code here. Let's come below. Okay, here I will make some space and I will create a new API here, name is post and my API name will be update user. Okay, I have created the API. Now let's accept the values from user. So I'm going to accept ID, users F name and L name because we are going to change F name and L name only. And with the help of ID, we are going to fetch the user. And this thing we will receive inside request.body. Now I will create here try and catch block. And now I am going to write a function here, name is await. User is my schema, which I have already imported. Like this is my schema. So I'm going to use this user and there is one function name as update one. So inside update one, it will accept two parameters. The first one will be the ID or you can pass anything by which we can locate the user. So I am going to locate the user with the help of ID, which we will receive inside this ID. And the second parameter will be set. That is, we will set the values. And we are going to set the values for f name and that will be f name and same for l name that will be l name okay so let me just simplify this for you so we have called this our schema and i am going to use this function name as update one the first parameter is the id so this function will find a user with this unique id and make and will change this parameters this f name is relating with this f name and the second f name is relating with the variables we are getting from user so i hope it is clear now once this is done i will send a response to our user that the changes have been successful so i will come here write status as okay and data will be updated otherwise i am going to send error so we'll write here error and data is error okay so we are done here also now i'm going to call this api and pass these three values now i will come to update user.js i will copy the fetch function i will write the api name which is update user this api name will be accepting three parameter the first one will be id which we can get through location dot state dot id not like this but like this like you can see here that id okay let me just refresh it you can see that we are getting id as this underscore then id so that's why i have written like this the second parameter we will pass is f name and it, this thing we can get from our state variable f name the last one is l name and this thing we can get from l name now i will just console.log data and once this is done i will navigate the user back to the user home screen that's why i have added it to the route now inside href i can pass let me see what is inside the route i will copy this user home and i will pass it here user home so let's save this i will come here i will just refresh it you can add the logout button here so for now i will open this application in incognito mode now 
I am going to this one two three login successful let me just open the console now I am going to click on this edit this we are getting others others tackle one two three video and now I am going to change this to others sing and I'm going to add this one, two, three. I'm going to click on update details, and you can see I have got the status as updated, and my status as my name has been updated. Okay, let me just show and name also. So I'll come here inside your user home. Currently, I am only showing this user data dot f name. Now here I can also show user data dot l name. I will save this. I will come here and you can see I am getting this others 1 2 3 sync. Let me do this again. So I will click on this edit. Now here you can see others 1 2 3 sync is there. Now my first name will be Thaku and my second name will be others. Now I will click on update details. I have got status update and my name has been updated. So in this way we can easily update our users data in MongoDB by creating an API in Node.js with the help of React. That's it for this video. If you found this video helpful, then please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.